All right, so here's the next uh, group of segments. This is what, uh, 15? So I think 15 through 19. <laughs> I've kind of lost track. Um, but anyway, the uh, the reason I segmented here was to get this door clip. I have two options here. I can either do this door clip or I can uh, clip through the wall. And I determined that they're both about the same length. If I get it perfect, I can get the uh, wall clipped faster. But I just decided to go ahead and go with the door clip. I might have been able to do that in two less pauses. Um, so that, that's like what? A second? Maybe two? No, nah, not even okay. two seconds. Goes. So it's, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, <clears throat> so it did take a while for me to be able to get the door clip pretty quick. Um, I did find a fairly decent angle. Um, so I was happy with it and I just decided to keep it. And uh, of course I ignored all the enemies so that forced me to have to start all the way back there. Um, I could have, tr on the way I did trigger a checkpoint but that would have set me back about five seconds so I didn't want to use that checkpoint and I could have killed a couple of enemies to give me another checkpoint but that would have taken some extra time so <clears throat> it was just better for me to start from back there uh, this is just a uh, hold up cutscene not much really to say so um, I know I I know I did screw up a little bit on the radio tower puzzle uh, I don't know what to call it, but you have to turn the dial a little bit. I turned it just a little bit too far, um, and I just missed the uh, button press, but it didn't cost that much time. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, so anyway, I don't really have much to say. Um, I'll join back in when I go down for the, uh, for the slide. Okay, I'm back. So if you skip this cutscene too fast sometimes, it'll cause a uh, loading problem. I'm not too sure how to describe it, but I've had this happen two or three times now in my uh, single segment runs to where instead of loading the slide, it loads a black screen, which I can actually move and change weapons and fire my weapons and all of that. I just can't see anything. It's just per pitch black. It's kind of funny. And, um... I can't pause the game or anything, it's kind of weird. Um, so the only way to fix that is to just keep running in one direction and wait for her to die. Okay, so segmenting here <clears throat> cuts off a bunch of that cutscene. Uh, that actually is faster to do it that way, to um, actually reload your checkpoint on a single segment run. So it saves even more time on a segmented run because I don't have to worry about the uh, loading screen. Um, I'm fairly certain through this collapsing section, no matter which which way you go, because you can stay um, up high or go down low, there's multiple directions that you can go. Um, I think they're all about the same. So, I don't think it really matters. I just went with the route that I'm used to. This guy is uh, kind of annoying. I could probably get by by just rolling. I think I've done it before, but that way it was just a little bit safer. 
Um, I do have to be careful right here because I need to trigger this glitch. This is an ice skating glitch and this is why you need dirty tricks. Into a uh, walkie talkie sequence, if you scramble and use dirty tricks, it'll cause Lara to ice skate. You can't really see it in this video, but she ends up moving a lot faster than normal. And before the walking walkie talkie sequence is over, you can get up to here. And then from here, I just want to get uh, two quick kills and then get that guy while he's on the uh, rope. Now, I stupidly um, segmented right there, which I probably could have made the video editing a little bit better. <clears throat> but the problem is you can't reload your save at that point without, um, in the way that I normally do it, I have to actually exit to the dashboard and reload the save. So... I was thinking about just redoing the segments um, and making them together, I wasn't too sure, but I had one chance, I had one opportunity to get this segment, and this ended up being good enough for me for now. I almost died there, but obviously I made it through. So who knows, uh, I might go back and redo these segments and tie them together, uh, who knows. If somebody's got an idea of something better, I'd love to hear it. Um, so here's another door that you can actually clip through, but it's just a lot faster to do that. And I knew some people are going to say, why not do the ice skating glitch right there? So I kind of proved that it can't, it doesn't work. So I went ahead and did it. And so she kind of lit her torch with dirt, which makes no sense. <laughs> So coming down here, there's actually three enemies that are inside the house walking out um, to the forward right. You actually don't get to see them. You can hear them talking though. But if you just hug the left side and keep going, keep rolling, they don't see you. I segmented up here um, mainly because of a jump that's coming up. And I had to wait for that second um, checkpoint because the first one was too far back. And that second one, all that did was it put me from the same distance from where I was going off the rope to the right side. So if anything that cost me maybe a tenth of a second from a slightly slower method of travel. So coming off that rope, uh, you don't want to get on to the very edge because she'll actually be facing in the wrong direction, costing time for her to turn. So I got her just a little bit further and then there's this jump which is kind of difficult. It's not too bad. But coming up here um, gives you a slightly different route through this section and you only have to do the one rope at the end instead of uh, two. Because we found methods to get down to uh, two, this method lets you do one. And in a single segment run, if you fail that jump, you could just do the backup strat which does uh, two, two ropes. So here's the only one that I do. So this one's uh, definitely worth it. So while doing um, doing this run, sometimes with a lot of the segments I do play ahead a little bit to determine where I want the segment to end. There's been a couple of where I just kind of determined, okay I'm going to checkpoint here <laughs> at this checkpoint. This is one of the ones where I actually completed the segment and then had to go and redo it because I realized I have a, uh, a nice little trick strategy that I can do is do the ice skating glitch here and the walking while talking sequence should end about here at that checkpoint but with the uh, ice skating glitch you can get up there a lot quicker and then it triggers that checkpoint so if I load that checkpoint the walking t the walkie talkie sequence just ends and I can immediately start rolling so it's definitely worth it and <clears throat> so this segment, I just go all the way up to getting the shotgun, and that's going to be the end of this video. The next video is going to be the monastery skip, and that's going to be a... Uh, that was a wonderful segment to record. I'll give more details about that in the uh, next video. So anyway, uh, as always, if you see anything that I can improve upon or have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to post below. Anyway, thanks for watching.
I hope this thing still works.